West to Harmin Freon and welcome to another video. Well, here we go again. Amazon's The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, and more information, more rumors about inclusion, representation, diversity, and pushing socio-political agendas, and talking about all these things on things like Twitter and the internet in general, rather than actually focusing on good storytelling, on fantasy, on escapism, as we should. So this is the latest article that came out about uh, The Lord of the Rings on Prime, uh, The Rings of Power, which apparently is rumored to feature LGBTQ plus representation, as if we didn't know that already. But it, this video is not about the rumor as much as it is about the fact that people are not able to focus on stories anymore. Like the actual fiction, the storytelling, the escapism, rather than on really just talking and arguing on the internet about LGBTQ+, about race swapping, about gender swapping, about, you know, just basically pushing social political agendas in, in each and every single thing and destroying the works of art by this. But let us focus on a bit of this article, uh, which says a brand new rumor claims that Prime Video's upcoming The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power series will feature LGBTQ plus representation. This new rumor comes from YouTuber Gary Buchle of Nerdrotic. Buchle states, I usually don't run with rumors, but I'll give you this one. Emailed to me by a random stranger who I've never met, who says he watches my channel, says he's working on this peripherally, uh, somehow, has stated that there will be uh, LGBTQ plus representation in Lord of the Rings on the Prime. On Prime. The latest rumor from, from Buchler comes uh, after so-called the Lord of the Rings fans side the one ring.net, who are a bunch of idiots, by the way, who obtained the first official description of the Rings of Power series, channeled the inner Grima worm tongue and began pushing blatant LGBTQ uh, propaganda onto not only J.R.R. Tolkien, but the Lord of the Rings as well. And that is absolutely true. Uh, they have been doing nothing but this, just pushing, pushing, pushing LGBTQ plus propaganda and saying that Tolkien wrote everything about gays. We, we will get to that later. This is interesting, by the way. Back in June 2021, the website took to Twitter to claim that Tolkien would celebrate LGBTQ because he was a devout follower of the Roman Catholic Church, which is a bloody nonsense if you can use your brain, actually. Twitter user Black uh, something something tweeted, Wait until you find out that J.R.R. Tolkien is a devout Roman Catholic Christian. Boy, are you guys in for a major shock, which is absolutely correct. The user added, In fact, the Lord of the Rings was heavily inspired by Christianity, and I'm pretty sure Christianity doesn't look too kindly on the alphabet people. Um, the One Ring.net responded, uh, Tolkien followed the church, and the church celebrates LGBTQ, so I think the surprise is on you. What the heck? I mean, the modern Catholic church might be a bit more um, respectful towards LGBTQ plus community, but they most certainly don't represent it, <laughs> which is proved by this. Father Christopher Miller, a Catholic priest, responded to this claim from the One Ring.net. He wrote on Twitter, what the heck? As a priest of Catholic church, of which Tolkien was a devout member, that I can tell you that we do not celebrate LGBTQ. You do realize the Catholic symbolism through Lord of the Rings, right? Lambas as a to the Eucharist, the real bread of life, and so on and so forth. And this goes for art for like paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs of just summarizing that this, look, look at that, the One Ring.net retweeted, gay, gay elf canon, Tolkienian gay elf canon. <laughs> they are bloody mentally ill people. They are mentally ill. They are sick. They are sick to their heads. Their minds are not right. Um, <laughs> another one. The One Ring Not Net retweeted, Right-wing Tolkien fans, Amazon is going to ruin Tolkien with their gay and lesbian elves. Tolkien, the correct terms in Quenya are Melatorni and Melatheldi. I mean, come on. Can you think about anything else but being gay? Because it's fashionable. I mean, there are gay people in the world, but from what I can see and hear on, all over the internet... It, some people are trying to make it look as if everybody in the world was gay. Well, 
here's a surprise for you. If everybody in the world was gay, there wouldn't be seven and a half billion people in the world, right? So, and please just keep these things out of talking. Keep these things out of fantasy. Keep these things out of storytelling, out of comic books, out of films, out of TV shows, out of art. Jesus bloody Christ. That just And look at that. There was a... Like, um, a, you know, the Tolkien Society, there was um, a seminar, an online seminar, right, uh, last year, uh, focused specifically on LGBTQ matters and representation. And uh, it, it, it said, uh, this seminar aims to explore the many possible applications of diversity within Tolkien's works, his adaptations and his readership. The Tolkien Society then prompted a number of topics that papers should focus on. They included representation in Tolkien's works, race, gender, sexuality, disability, class, religion, age, etc. Tolkien's approach to colonialism and post-colonialism, adaptations of Tolkien's works, diversity and representation in Tolkien academia and readership, identity within Tolkien's works, alterity in Tolkien's works. The actual papers discussed included Gondor in Transition, a brief introduction to transgender realities in the, Do in, in the Lord of the Rings. Who the f hell was a transsexual or a transgender in the Lord of the Rings? Do you want to imply that Aragorn was secretly wearing, like, you know, female dresses when nobody could see him? The problem of pain. Portraying physical disability in the fantasy of J.R.R. Tolkien. The burnt hat teaches most about fire. Applying traumatic stress and ecological frameworks or to narratives of displacement and resettlement across cultures in Tolkien's Middle Earth. The invisible other. Tolkien's dwarf women and the feminine lack. <laughs> Projecting Indian myths, culture and history onto Tolkien's works. The loss of indigeneity, identity and anti-racism, the problematic perimeters of Elrond Half-Elven and Roland English Catholic. Oh, Jesus. Pardoning Saruman, the queer in Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. What the hell are you implying here? And this goes, this, this goes on and on and on. I mean, it is quite certain that the LGBTQ plus something something will be at least implied in the rings of power because those bloody mentally ill lefties who are running the show, they can't miss the chance of doing that. But this video is not about that. This video is about the general uh, turning away from stories, turning away from entertainment, turning away from fantasy, turning away from escapism. Can't can't we just focus on... Can't we just escape for a moment? Can't we just enjoy books? Well, I can. So bloody, bloody F you, you idiots. I mean, this just amuses me, right? I'm reading my books. I'm watching my films, old films that I love. I'm not, you know, letting them influence me in this way. It's just, uh, you know, funny, funny video content, let's say, to laugh uh, into the faces of these mentally ill people. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this atrocity and if you think that there's going to be LGBTQ plus representation in the Lord of the Rings or not. Uh, and that will be all. Thank you very much for watching indeed. And Namarie.